Taste This is brought to you by Visit Oakland. My principle with cocktails is kiss. Keep it simple. And that's just what we're going to do. So come along and taste this. I'm Leslie Sabraco. Come on and taste this. I'm with Kaylee Shoemaker, a master distiller here at Hangar One, and you create some beautiful infusions. So first off, I want you to take me through how to taste vodka and then what we're looking for in these infusions. Okay. And then we're gonna whip up a couple uh, cocktails, okay? Sounds like fun. All right, so everybody has a little bit of a different recipe and that's what changes the mouth feel or the small mm -hmm. nuances that you'll notice in the vodka. Because this is our straight. Um, we use California wine grapes and American grains to make this vodka. And vodka can be made from anything. From anything. From potatoes, from grains, from fruits, from, from anything. Um, so when I'm tasting, I like to give it a nose with the mouth open so you're not just getting that right. strong alcohol, alcohol right up in your sinuses. Try it. Don't um, open your mouth when you're nosing a vodka and you'll go whoop and you'll get alcohol. And then open your mouth, allowing that alcohol to escape. So the nose is your preview and then of course you uh, You get the sip. So uh, we do a range of flavors. These are our four core flavors. The way that we do this is we work with farmers to select fresh ingredients. We take the ingredients and macerate them in that 190 proof vodka we'd pull off the still. We put that boozy fruit in the still and then distill the alcohol out of the fruit. So when you taste this, you'll get an idea of what the vodka it was infused with mm -hmm. fresh from the field. So this is our mandarin blossom. We actually use the blossoms from the mandarin tree. Oh. So you've got like rose water notes and a lot of floral characteristic in this as well as that sweet, juicy mandarin. I think it flavor. smells like a dream sickle. Mm. That's a beauty. So our next one is the Budahan Citron. The Budahan is an ancestor of a lime. Mm -hmm. So when you slice it open, there's not a juicy center like you're expecting in most right. citrus fruit. It's all peel and pith. It has a lot of oils and a lot of citrus essence to release. Okay. So then our last one, this is one of my favorites. Um, this is our kefir lime. Mm -hmm. um, we make this one with the leaves. Oh, so okay. the same leaves you'd use for Thai cooking. Mm -hmm. This one's a fun one to use in cocktails where you'd normally use a gin. Uh, use this instead and you get a little bit of a different twist. It definitely has this almost juniper berry character, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It really has a savory note, a spicy note, an herbal note. I mean, Bloody Marys with this. Mm -hmm. It's my turn now. I'm gonna do a little riff on one of my favorite cocktails, which is a French 75. Traditionally, gin, lemon juice, a little bit of sugar, a simple syrup, and uh, champagne. Instead of our citrus and our uh, gin, we're gonna do the vodka with the orange blossom to give you the same character. And I'm gonna top it with a little extra dry California sparkling wine. So now we're getting a hint of sweetness. Extra dry actually means a little sweet. Cheers. My little riff on a French 75. I like it. It's really good. Yeah. I'm going to do a classic, very popular cocktail these days, the oh, Mas yeah. Moscow Mule. Um, this one's usually a vodka, ginger beer, and a little squeeze of lime. Right. I'm going to skip the squeeze of lime and use the lime vodka. So. Absolutely. So you go ahead and do an ounce and a half per drink, and then a little bit of ginger beer. Um, and use I great like, ginger beer. Yes, yes. You have to use good ginger beer. You yeah. can't just go get plain old right. store brand ginger ale. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Let's try that. Oh. I love that. I, I like that more than a traditional version because I think the kefir lime gives it that nice herbal note, um, that depth and that complexity. Cheers. Cheers. You got to taste this. <laughs> so good. I need a little bit more. It's <laughs> the way to do it. The Oakland Urban Wine Trail provides the opportunity to sample fine regional wines right in Oakland, featuring 10 vintners from different backgrounds, offering a variety of specialties. Oakland's urban wineries are located in diverse settings, ranging from warehouse spaces to prime waterfront locations. The trail is walkable and accessible by nearby public transportation. More information about planning an Oakland wine tasting trip at oaklandurbanwinetrail.com.